Karnataka Government Schools, Kannada Medium, Second Language English, Standard 10, Unit 1, Lesson 2, Poetry, Grandma Climbs a Tree by Ruskin Bond. This video will help you improve English vocabulary and spelling, learn English pronunciation and accent, read fluently in English with good intonation, answer examination questions correctly. You can translate sentences and paragraphs into Kannada or any other language. Go to Google Translate on the internet. Type the sentence and it will translate it into Kannada or any language of your choice. Stanza 1. Vocabulary practice. Listen to the pronunciation of the words and repeat them. Genius. Genius. Yud, yud, could climb trees, could climb trees, spreading or high, spreading or high, she'd be, she'd be, branches, branches, In a trice, in a trice, mind you, mind you, childhood, childhood, she'd had, she'd had, gift, gift. Happier in a tree than in a lift. Happier in a tree than in a lift. Reading practice. Listen to the reading of the stanza and read along. Try to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. My grandmother was a genius. You'd like to know why? Because she could climb trees, spreading or high. She'd be up their branches in a trice and, mind you, when last she climbed a tree, she was 62. Ever since childhood, she'd had this gift for being happier in a tree than in a lift. Stanza 1. Important points to remember. My grandmother was a genius at climbing trees. She could climb spreading trees or high trees. She could climb very quickly. She started climbing trees in childhood. The last time she climbed a tree, she was 62 years old. She was happier in a tree than in a lift. As years went by, as years went by, grew old, grew old. Growing old should be gone about gracefully. Growing old should be gone about gracefully. 
I'll grow disgracefully. I can do it better. I'll grow disgracefully. I can do it better. Wasn't, wasn't, hadn't, hadn't. And though, as years went by, she would be told that climbing trees should stop when one grew old and that growing old should be gone about gracefully she'd laugh and say well I'll grow disgracefully I can do it better and we had to agree for in all the garden there wasn't a tree she hadn't been up at one time or another Stanza 2. Important points to remember. As grandmother became old, people told her to stop climbing trees. People told her to grow old gracefully. She told them she would grow old disgracefully. And so grandmother continued climbing trees. She climbed all the trees in the garden. Loving brother. Loving brother. Feared by all. Feared by all. She'd. She'd. Terrible fall. Terrible fall. Outcome was different. Outcome was different. Couldn't come down. Couldn't come down. Having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six, but it was feared by all that one day she'd have a terrible fall. The outcome was different. While we were in town, she climbed a tree and couldn't come down. Stanza 3. Important points to remember. When grandmother was six years old, her brother taught her to climb trees. Everyone was afraid that one day she would fall down from a tree. But what happened was very different. One day she climbed a tree and then could not come down. Rescue, rescue, temperature, temperature. I strongly recommend a quiet week in bed. I strongly recommend a quiet week in bed. Side with relief, side with relief. Tucked her up. Are up. A brief season in hell. A brief season in hell. Confined to her bedroom. Confined to her bedroom. Breeze. Breeze. Whispered of summer and dancing leaves whispered of summer and dancing leaves.
After the rescue, the doctor took Granny's temperature and said, I strongly recommend a quiet week in bed. We sighed with relief and tucked her up well. Poor Granny, for her it was a brief season in hell. Confined to her bedroom, while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves. Stanza 4 Important Points to Remember Granny was rescued and brought down from the tree. The doctor told her to take bed rest for one week. The family was happy to hear this. Granny was not happy being forced to stay in the bedroom. The summer breeze and dancing leaves were calling out to her. Held her peace, held her peace, felt stronger, felt stronger. I'll lie here no longer. I'll lie here no longer. Undaunted. Undaunted. House in a treetop. House in a treetop. Knew his duties. Knew his duties. But she had held her peace till she felt stronger. Then she sat up and said, I lie here no longer. And she called my father and told him undaunted that a house in a treetop was what she now wanted. My dad knew his duties. He said, that's all right. You'll have what you want, dear. I'll start work tonight. Stanza 5 Important Points to Remember Soon Grandma became stronger. She said she did not want to lie in bed anymore. She called her son and told him to build her a house in a treetop. Her son agreed to build her a house on a treetop. Expert assistance. Expert assistance. Finished the chore. Finished the chore. Sits there in state. Sits there in state. Sherry. Sherry. Upholding her right to reside in a tree. Upholding her right to reside in a tree. With my expert assistance, he soon finished the chore. Made her a tree house with windows and a door. So Granny moved up and now every day I climb to her room with glasses and tray. She sits there in state and drinks sherry with me, upholding her right to reside in a tree. Stanza 6 Important Points to Remember The speaker and his father built a house on a tree for Granny. Granny moved into the tree house. The speaker went to the tree house every day with glasses and tray. Grandma and the speaker would drink sherry together in the treehouse. Questions and answers. The speaker in the poem does not call his grandmother childish. What else was she according to him? Why does he consider her to be so? The speaker called his mother a genius. She was a genius at climbing trees. She could climb any kind of tree very quickly.
Grandma had been in the habit of climbing trees for a very long period. Identify the lines that suggest this. Answer. When last she climbed a tree, she was 62. Ever since childhood, she had had this gift of being happier in a tree than in a lift. The above lines tell us two things. Granny started climbing trees in childhood. She last climbed a tree when she was 62 years old. Look at lines. Look at lines 7 and 8. She would be told, who do you think would tell her so? Answer, it could be her family members, friends, neighbours, relatives. Do you find anything odd in the reply given by the grandma? If so, why do you think it is odd? Granny's reply was funny and clever. She said she would grow old disgracefully. Others had feared that Granny would fall from a tree one day or the other. Did this happen? Or did something else happen? Answer. Granny did not fall from a tree. One day, she climbed a tree and then could not come down. What had the doctor recommended? What was the reaction of the kids to this advice? The doctor recommended that Granny take bed rest for one week. The family members were very relieved to hear this. Quote the lines which suggest how wholeheartedly Granny enjoyed climbing a tree. Then she sat up and said, I lie here no longer. And she called for my father and told him undaunted that a house in a treetop was what she now wanted. My dad knew his duties. What do you think his duty was? His duty was to build Granny a house in a treetop. Look at the picture given below the title. Quote the lines that might have guided the artist to draw that. Answer. With my expert assistance, he soon finished the chore, made her a tree house with windows and a door. Read and appreciate. Read the poem again. Does the behavior of grandma strike you as unusual? If so, support your view, quoting her ways and responses to others. One is done for you. Grandma climbing a tree. Answer. She was happier in a tree than in a lift. She said she would grow old disgracefully. Growing old gracefully is an expression used in the poem. Discuss with your partner whether what the grandma was doing was graceful or otherwise. Answer. Granny was doing what she loved. She did not care if people thought she was graceful or disgraceful. She just wanted to be happy. Both the narrator, speaker in the poem, and his father were very considerate towards grandma. Substantiate the statement with textual support. Answer. They took good care of granny. They listened to her. They built her a house on a treetop. The speaker would take glasses and sherry to Granny. If you were to divide the entire poem into two parts, which line would you pick up to be the beginning of the second part? Why? Answer. I think the line after the rescue would be the beginning of the second part. After this incident, Granny's love for trees became stronger. She decided to live permanently in a tree. Have a close look at the rhyme scheme. 
write at least five pairs of rhyming words. For example, said bed. Answer, why high. Gift lift. Told old. Agree tree. Town down. It was like a brief season. Name the figure of speech in the sentence. What are the two things compared? Explain. The figure of speech is simile. Granny's one week bed rest is compared to a brief season in hell. For being happier in a tree than in a lift. What is suggested through this line? Exchange your views with your partner. Granny was happier climbing trees than going up buildings in a lift. She preferred trees and nature to concrete jungles, that is, multi-storey buildings. There was not a tree she hadn't been up is an expression. Rewrite the above sentence without using not. Note, the meaning should be the same. Give some more examples from outside the text to illustrate the effective use of double negatives. She had been up every single tree in the garden. More examples of double negatives. He wasn't irresponsible. There isn't a dress she hadn't tried. Read the line, she would be up in the branches in a trice. What picture do you get in your mind when you read this? Maybe it is the picture of grandma climbing a tree, deftly, even like a monkey. Now read the following lines and say what pictures or images that come to your mind. Try and draw these pictures if you can. An aged woman confined to bed. Answer, an old lady sleeping in bed. Every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves. Answer, leaves falling from trees and flying in the wind. Being happier in a tree than in a lift. Answer, grandma looking angry in a lift and grandma sitting in a tree looking happy. I will grow disgracefully. Answer, an old lady dancing in the rain. Read and enjoy. Who me by Joyce Armour. There is a kid who lives with us who no one's ever seen. He's the guy who broke our vase and painted fluffy green. He drew the funny pictures on my brother's bedroom door and left those worms to shrivel up inside my dresser drawer. He also took my favorite cookies from the cookie jar and put a tuna sandwich in the brand new VCR. In fact, he does most everything that you might think is bad. Of course, he isn't really real. Just don't tell mum and dad. Know about the poet. Ruskin Bond, born in Kasauli in 1934. Ruskin Bond now lives in Missouri. He wrote his first novel, The Room on the Roof, when he was 17 and has written more than 30 books for children. Grandma Climbs a Tree shows Bond's great ability to enjoy unusual events and actions. In his autobiography, Scenes from a Writer's Life, Bond talks about his Calcutta granny as a strange person who sat alone in the evenings playing Patience, a card game. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. You will receive notifications about new videos that are uploaded. Thank you.